Since its discovery, a genome-associated virus has helped move science and research forward due to its excellence as a gene delivery system. This small virus has revolutionized the usage of viral vectors for gene therapy and transgenic expression with its many features that make it a suitable candidate for these tasks. Although its usage as a viral vector is still relatively new compared to other tried methods, AAV features many significant advantages that other vectors lack. Adeno-associated virus possesses a variety of features that make it a truly remarkable gene delivery system. AAV has a linear single-strand DNA genome of approximately 4.7 kilobases in length, with two 145 nucleotide long inverted terminal repeats. The AAV genome does not encode a polymerase and instead relies on cellular polymerases for its replication. Its entire genome only encodes viral replication and caps of genes. These two genes encode all non-structural and structural proteins for replication regulation and capsid structure respectively. The capsid proteins of the AAV assemble into a near-spherical protein shell of 60 subunits. AAV was first discovered in 1965 as a contaminant of adenovirus preparation, which is subsequently how it got its name. At a size of approximately 22 nanometers, the AAV is one of the smallest non-enveloped capsid viruses discovered. AAV is also exceptional for its very low pathogenicity in comparison to its near-universal distribution in human populations. This virtually non-existent pathogenicity of AAV can be attributed to its inability to replicate on its own. It requires a co-infector to be able to replicate and cause a productive infection in the body. Even then, at worst the adeno-associated virus causes a very mild immune response, making it a great candidate for gene therapy due to the low damage it can potentially cause. When AAV infects a human cell alone, its gene expression program is auto-repressed and latency is ensued by integration of the virus into a 2 kilobase region of human chromosome 19 called AAV-S1. This allows the virus to stay in a lysogenic or dormant state in the cell or infected tissue until a helper virus such as adenovirus is brought into the infected cells. Once a helper virus is introduced, AAV can enter a lytic cycle and replicate along with the adenovirus. E1A, E1B55K, E2A, E4, ORF6, and viral-associated genes from the adenovirus are the known helper genes required for AAV replication. Although almost all AAV serotypes can easily infect almost every kind of cell in the body, AAV is unique from other viral vectors due to its natural tropism towards specific cell types in the body. Tropism in the case of AAV means its natural preference to infect and thrive in specific tissue types, and the specificity is determined by the capsid serotype. AAV serotype 2 has been the most extensively studied and presents a natural tropism towards skeletal muscles, neurons, vascular smooth muscle cells, and hepatocytes. Other AAV serotypes have been studied as well and found themselves to be excellent gene vectors for various other tissue types in the body, including AAV1, which has been found to excel in gene delivery to vascular endothelial cells, as well as the retina, heart, and lung. AAV5 also exhibits a tropism towards vascular endothelial cells, but more importantly is efficient in transducing astrocytes. AAV6 has been found to be excellent in transducing airway epithelial cells, as well as hepatocytes, while AAV7 has been found to be excellent in transducing murine smooth muscle cells, just like AAV1 and AAV5. Both AAV8 and AAV3 show natural tropism towards hepatocytes and are excellent in transducing them. AAV4 has shown a tropism towards both kidney and heart cells. Serotypes 1 through 9 are available at ABM and can be ordered for lab use. As was mentioned before, adeno-associated virus is a very promising viral vector and an important candidate for highly efficient gene editing. The advantages to using adeno-associated virus over other viral vectors is AAV infects both dividing and quiescent cells which allows genetic material to be delivered to a highly diverse range of cell types. Modern-day AAV can persist in cells in an extra-chromosomal form, making it an attractive tool for gene therapy. AAV can cause long-term expression in non-dividing cells, as AAV is not diluted until a host cell divides, and AAV has a negligible pathogenicity and induces a very mild immune response. AAV vectors have been used in over 117 clinical trials worldwide to date, including a number of promising results in trials for Leber's congenital amaurosis, hemophilia, congestive heart failure, lipoprotein lipase deficiency, and Parkinson's disease. 
Although it does present many advantages, use of the virus is not without some disadvantages. Its major drawback is its very small genome size. In comparison to adenovirus, AAV is 5 to 10 times smaller in size. This greatly restricts the size of the gene that can be inserted into the AAV viral vector, as the transgene itself can only be less than 4.5 kilobases in length. ABM offers a wide range of AAV products and services, which can meet a broad range of experimental requirements. ABM offers libraries of open reading frame in human, mouse, and rat genes, with over 30,000 individual ORF products, which are available in both AAV viral vector or as packaged virus. ABM also offers cRNA and microRNA for gene knockdown applications. These products are also available in both packaged viruses or AAV viral vectors. Our AAV products come with a wide range of customization options. The promoters include CMV, PGK, and EF1A. The reporter choice includes Bicifrase or GFP. AAV serotypes 1 to 11 are available, as well as custom AAV titrations. In addition, ABM can also perform AAV custom services, which include custom AAV cloning and packaging services. ABM also offers a custom AAV titration qPCR assay, which includes master mixes, reagent mixes, and all other necessary components to perform AAV titration analysis. Please leave your questions and comments below, and we will answer them as soon as possible. For more information, please visit our knowledge base at the link provided in the description. Thank you for watching.